Hello again, Team Hudson's. Back for part two of our podium series. This is Web Chat Basics. So right now, I am on Hudson'sFurniture.com. I have found this awesome Dayton Power High Leg Recliner, and I've got questions about it. So all I need to do is click on this little blue ball down here. It's going to ask for my zip code or address, but it also does geotag. I'm in the Brandon store, so it's going to list the Brandon store first. I'm going to click on that. It's going to ask for my name as well as my mobile phone number. I've already done this before, so it's been saved. But your customer does need two green check boxes before they can ask a question. And then down here in the message box, I'm just going to ask a question. Are there other colors for this chair? Mark and click send. Now, when I do that, what's going to end up happening is they'll get a note that says, we received your message, and you're going to be getting a text back from this number right here. That number is the Brandon store's telephone number. So whatever store they select, the text that they get back is going to be not from your mobile phone number or from an odd, weird string of numbers and letters, but it's going to be directly from the Brandon store's number. Now. I am logged in as a user in the Brandon store. So only people that have access as Brandon Digital Up Specialists, when they open their podium, are going to get access to this message. And boom, there it is. There's Eric P. Are there other color other colors for this chair? And the response. What I do as an up specialist, when I see this, I know all about best chair. I'm gonna say there are over a thousand cover options. What did you have in mind? Question mark. We'll cover this in a later video, but we always want you to end with a question. This is very, very important because that leaves the ball squarely in the customer's hands and keeps the conversation going. So at this point, I've responded. I've ended the question. There's a send, but I'm going to click send and close. I do that. That is going to send a text directly to Eric P's phone and is going to move the conversation from the open folder to the closed folder. You heard the little ding. It came over pretty quick. Now, keep in mind that conversation is not gone forever. When Eric responds back, it's going to jump back to my open box, which I'll show you in a second. Also, if you're looking for it before then, oh, I closed it by accident. I didn't mean to do that. There is a close tab here that allows you to see all of the recently closed conversations based on time. And there's also up here in search messages, I can just type in Eric P and it'll pull that information up as well. So if you close something by accident, don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. I promise. Now, here I go. I'm texting back and saying, you know what? I want blue. Boom. Blue is there. We'll say, excellent. Would you like to schedule an appointment to see the fabric? Just to show you all as well, if you click send, instead of send and close by accident, you can also use this function right here to move the conversation into the closed folder. Boom. It is actually that simple. That can keep going for as long as you need in order to complete your interaction with the customer. Know that do, you do not need to be afraid of the closed. I know some of you out there who have very, very, very heavy inboxes when it comes to emails and things of that nature. Do not be afraid. Know that it is always going to be just a click away. Stay tuned to this channel. We're going to have many, many more updates when it comes to great functions. This has been Podium Web Chat Basics.